Hey everybody, Aaron here. This is my 65th review on this channel, and today's review is AkiCon. Oh, AkiCon, wow. Um, I knew I'd eventually review this anime. It's it's probably on my like top 10 list of anime I don't want to review, just because of the sheer fact of how bad it is. Um, there's also other anime on the list, but I, I try to spread them out on my list of reviews as best as I can because the sheer fact that a lot of them are the lot like those top 10 are anime that you tell your friend to watch if you want them to hate anime this is this is a perfect example of that so real fast let's explain Akikan and by the way what I speak is the truth if you don't believe me you can look it up online because I have a feeling that most of you when you hear this are not gonna believe me you're gonna think I'm making this up but I'm being 100% honest with you guys I mean this is anime you should kind of expect randomness sometimes but this might be on a whole new level of that. So Akikan has our main character who one day drinks a can of soda and a girl pops out. And that girl is called Melon because she's from Melon Soda. And lo and behold, him and Melon end up getting participants, become participants in a fighting game where they must now battle other cans of soda in pitched combat because there are different types of soda like aluminum soda or plastic soda or carbonated soda yeah yeah it, the long pause that you hear me having is because I, I'm trying to th I still even though I've seen this anime I still have to my mind actually process that this anime exists um, besides being the dumbest concept I think I've ever heard, ever, the only points that keep this thing from a fail, because I'll tell you right now, it's not going to fail. Akikan's not going to fail. It's horrible anime, but it's not going to fail, so don't expect an F review from this. But the only thing keeping it from that F is the sheer fact that someone had to create this story. And I have to give them credit just for making something so bizarre that I cannot wrap my head around it. Who would think of... Uh, basically a harem anime revolving around girls from soda cans. I I don't who use powerful attacks that are made of carbon made carbonated attacks and fruity sugary attacks. I oh god like you don't you can't see my reaction on the side of this camera. But imagine just someone covering their face and going, Oh my god, how why was this made? I, I don't understand. I, I'll never understand till the day I die that why this was made. I really I don't um, but besides that, you know, the whole point of our main character, at least, is that, you know, he's not a complete idiot. He knows that the girls kind of like him, but he's not, he's one of those, you not just don't expect anything romantic from the series. There's nothing to be really resolved. Our main characters will sort of kiss because, quote unquote, you know, she's, he has to put his lips on the soda can to summon her. So, whoa, you know, um, <laughs> it's really dumb. I, <laughs> I have to, I like, I was actually trying to think of ways to say the good things about this because I really, like I said before, I, I think I've said this so many times that I'm, I'm worn, I'm worn out of saying it. But the truth is, is that anime is something to be appreciated. You know, there are so many great anime out there. There's so many perfect examples of good shows, and then you have things like this thrown in there where you go, why? This is not an older show, by the way. This is from 2009. It's not that old. I mean, it's like six years old now. And, you know, it, I remember when I watched it, the first time I watched it, I was, what, 19, I guess? Yeah, around, around 19. And I go, wow, why did this come out? Um, I don't know. I really don't. Um, I, so, I guess, let's, let's, come on, okay. I gotta focus. I gotta, I gotta talk about this, because I really have to talk about it. So, the main premise, though, our main character is not a fighter. He joins this kind of participant fighting match thing with all these girls. Not because he wants to, but because he has to. Because the the company that made them also plans on doing wicked things with them, like destroying them or using them for stupid combat. You know, okay, you know what? No, no, no. I can't review this. I cannot review this very well. Honest to God, because it's just so, so dumb. It's so, no matter how I put a synopsis on this, no matter what I talk about as the character progress, 
okay, here's here's the very quick version of this. Characters progress in normal, typical anime ways where our main character starts off as a pacifist in terms of fighting, then becomes a fighter because he now he could actually fight, but he actually did something horrible when he was younger and got into a horrible fight, and thus he doesn't want to fight anymore. You know, so he becomes a fighter because of backstory. Um, you have our main character, Melon, who is very ditzy, and then becomes a smarter character as the show goes. She just can't express herself. You have other characters who are the typical Lolita girl, the kind of cool, as a cucumber type girl, Yell, who doesn't do much in terms of anything except fighting very well, and then kind of showing her love to the protagonist who clearly doesn't love her back. This is... This is a bad show. I, I can't put it to words how much... Beyond the animation, which I don't even think the animation is that great. I think the animation kind of went for the uh, older classic look of anime. And doesn't do a good job even there. I'll tell you right now. If I had to review this A through F, D minus. D minus. Um, it is so close to an F that... Think of it being like think of it as being on a ledge like in cartoons. Where one character's foot is funnily off the, off the edge of a cliff. But he's still somehow standing on the cliff. That's what Akikon is. It is so close to being just a complete failure that it's almost cartoonish. I can't, again, I can't in good measure give this a complete F because the sheer fact, again, that it's original. The concept is so stupid, yeah, but it's still original. And that's amazing that I, you know, it's very rare that I'll say an anime is completely, completely original, but this is one of them. But yeah, that's it for this review, guys. Um, I'm sorry if this sounded rant to rave, but I just have to convey that this is one of those anime you pass up. 12 episodes is too long. You know, you watch this anime, you're gonna probably go, wow, why did I do this? If you've seen it before in the past, I, I, listen, I'm with you. I feel you. I understand your pain. But as always, guys, that's it for this review. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, until I pass across again in the next review, have a good one, everyone. Bye. I'll try to bring you something better than Aki Kakas. Yeah, then... This, this, that, it's a bad show. That, that's it. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.